<laughs> well, you know, we had a pretty dry, I mean, it's been dry here too. It's kind of wild. Yeah, uh, last week I was covering our December statistics. It has been one of our warmest Decembers on record. Wow. It was the warmest since 1979. Wow. So it has been decades. However, we did get almost 12 inches of total snow. They came in a couple bursts that just didn't stick around. You know, we got that five inches of snow and then it would just melt away because it has been so mild recently. That's more the El Nino winter that we have come to expect. That is a foggy early morning scene for the inland northwest and it's funny to say it's a new year, but it's the same weather. How many days has it been foggy through December and even in November? It's been more often than not. And uh, you could trust me when I say that because I've been standing right here tracking that fog so many days in the last couple months here. So it is a foggy new year. The pattern doesn't look like it will change until about Friday of this week. So yes, that means more foggy mornings basically every single day this week. Here's our latest visibilities near zero in Spokane, half mile in Coeur d'Alene, handful of quarter mile reports as well, including Deer Park and Pullman. So it is not a patchy fog. It is a widespread fog because of that dense fog advisories have been issued by the National Weather Service until noon today. That is when we anticipate the fog to be at its worst and after noon, then we'll start to see things really thin out in terms of that low cloud cover for this morning and it'll be likely like this several days this week. Here's a, just a couple of the traffic camera images from Coeur d'Alene, foggy overlooking I-90 and here in Spokane, foggy overlooking Freya. So it is not just our normal trouble spots like the West Plains. It is more of a widespread fog. Now we're going to go into the long term outlook. That pattern change is going to happen this upcoming weekend, really Friday into Saturday, colder than average. Haven't said that. Uh, very frequently so far this winter. But what happens is that our next storm system is going to pull in some of that colder northerly air, and it does give us a much better chance for snowfall for Friday and Saturday. It's not a perfect combination, though, so some areas will just have that cold rain. Other low elevations will end up getting a snow. Details are not set in stone yet. It is way too early to be forecasting any kind of snow accumulation totals because we're still five days away. But we'll put that on your radar if you have any plans for this Friday or Saturday. It's going to be wet one way or another, be it rain or snow. We'll just have to keep tabs on that between now and then.